Hi, Jeff Ogan of Sport Dad Sports Photography and Camera Bits Ambassador with another pro tip on how to ensure that you have the correct capture time when you're using multiple camera bodies on a photo shoot. When I teach my workshops, I often get asked how do I ensure that the capture time is correct when using multiple camera bodies. Of course you can set the time in camera, but it is often difficult to get multiple cameras set to exactly the same time. Let me show you how I do it. First thing I'm going to do is open an app on my phone that shows the clock with seconds. The app that I use is called The Clocks, but any app that shows a digital clock with seconds will do. Here's the one that I use. Before I go out on assignment, I'll take two photos of the clock on my phone with each of the camera bodies that I will be using. I will take a couple of images with my Nikon D5. So I'll go like so. And then I'm going to take a couple of images with the other camera that I'm going to use on this next shoot. So before I go do my photo shoot, I'm going to open up the ingest window and make sure that I've got the right ingest. And here I'm going to add the metadata template that I want to use. I'm going to say use this basic one. And then I'm going to give it a vent name and I'm going to call it my... Then I close it. And I'm ready to go do my shoot. Now I'm going to ingest the images from both cards. So now that I've ingested all my images, how do I see which ones are from which camera? So what I'm going to do here is go into Preferences, and then I'm going to specify file name plus two labels. I'm going to use model here as the variable because I use two different cameras. But if I was using two cameras of the same model, I would put serial number here instead of model. Or I could put serial number here, but I'm not going to do that so I don't show you my serial numbers on my cameras. Now we see here that I've got images from my D5 mixed in with images on my Z9. I take a look at this one, my D5 10 is the time on the picture, but I see this one is off by four seconds. Come to my Z9 picture, and I see that this one is off by 29, it's off by seven seconds. So how do I go about fixing that? Here, let me rotate these. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna sort by serial number or model in this case. So what I can do here is I'm going to select all my D5 pictures up to here and then I'm going to say tools adjust date and then for that first picture I'm going to go up 101 and 10. Repeat the same thing for my Z9 pictures. Come in here tools adjust Now if I check this one, we see 129.49, perfect. And if I go look at a bunch of others, we see that we've now corrected the time on these. So if I look at this one, it should say 149.50, perfect. Come to this one, it should show me 110.11, perfect. Now I'm done. I'm gonna come back here and look at by capture time. And now I have synced all the images to the correct time across multiple bodies. And that is how you sync the time on multiple cameras using Photo Mechanic. If you found the video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe so you'll see the upcoming videos. I also teach workflow workshops. The link will be in the show notes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.